Good morning. Welcome back to Brightside here on 10 Tampa Bay. I'm Rob Finnerty with you uh, on this Monday morning. We are your hurricane headquarters. And this morning, Tropical Depression Hannah continues to make its way across Texas and Mexico with serious rain, strong winds, and some coastal flooding over the weekend. Yesterday, President Trump did approve a disaster declaration for Texas after Hannah hit the Gulf Coast as a Category 1 hurricane on Saturday. It destroyed boats, flooded streets, and knocked out power there, uh, possibly a, uh, a warning for things to come in what's already been a very active season out there in the tropics. So let's get a check on what's happening right now with 10 News Meteorologist Grant Gilmore. Hey, Grant. Hey, Rob. Yeah, yeah, an active season for sure. Actually on pace to be the most active season on record, outpacing uh, 2005 already. Let me show you the big picture here. I'm going to take you actually out into the Pacific Ocean where we've got another hurricane uh, grazing the uh, the islands of Hawaii this morning. Hurricane Douglas, a category one hurricane right now with wind speeds at 90 miles per hour. It's uh, moving just north of the island of uh, Oahu and heading up towards Kauai this morning. Uh, but still, even though it's not making landfall, which it looked like it could have, it's still bringing multiple threats from heavy rainfall, uh, obviously gusty winds and the threat for higher surf, dangerous surf for that matter there on the northeastern uh, coast there. Uh, there's a tropical depression Hana moving over central Mexico right now where, yeah, it made landfall on Saturday as a Category 1 hurricane, but it brought a lot of rain with it too. Over 16 inches in some places, radar estimating over 17 inches of rainfall. This is just over the last three days, so not just a wind and surge threat there, but also a flooding threat with all of that rainfall. And then Invest 92L continues to look like it's going to develop into either a tropical depression or tropical storm over the next few days as it quickly moves to the west. It's moving at around 20 miles per hour. Wind speeds right now around 30 miles per hour. But you see that broad counterclockwise circulation associated with Invest 92L. A lot of uncertainty on exactly what happens with the storm, but it does look like it becomes a named storm, which it would be called Isaias. A little bit more of a difficult name to pronounce there. So here we are. Isaias could be the next name storm up for the 2020 hurricane season. Here's the spaghetti models right now. Most of them take it north of Hispaniola up through the Bahamas. Uh, the intensity of this is a big question mark as well. But just comparing the GFS, which is the American model, and the European model, a lot of question marks on even if it goes to the north and west. The European model dissipating it through the Caribbean as it tracks to the west. Meanwhile, the American model that GFS takes it closer to the Florida coast, something that we will be watching closely over the next week and a half.